Peace, 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 peace. It's your boy BLS all in this mess. I got another video that I really need y'all to listen to. This is an audio video. This video is coming out of um, California. This video is really alarming. Now, I want to set it up. Listen, the California liberal teachers are indoctrinating your children in the fifth and the fourth grade. They're on top of putting sexual content inside the school curriculum. Now they are putting their own political ideologies into the classroom, okay? So I want, to, I want you to ask your children, are they doing what they're doing right here now? In this video, um, a little girl explains to her mother about how the children that like Trump do not get rewarded and the children that like Kamala gets rewarded. Now, whatever side of the spectrum that you want, I think this is bad. You should be mad and you should be alarmed, especially if you have children in the California school district, all right? Do you guys think this is normal for them to bring politics into school? And if they vote for, I live in California, by the way, but if you vote for Kamala Harris, then you're going to get a pizza party. But if you vote for Donald J. Trump, apparently you are excluded. They said that my teacher was screaming at us saying the other class was voting Trump. So they don't get to use the paper patches, not the school supplies for the girls. They don't get to use the computers, the chargers, or the, what to call it. So wait a minute. So now the teachers are doing, which is crazy. I can't believe that the teachers would actually, they, they would discipline the children that doesn't go with Kamala Harris that support Trump. This is what the children, this is what the children are going through. This is very alarming. I think you parents need to really ask your kids what are they doing in the classrooms and make sure that they're not doing this because I, I'm sure if this, this is not the, doing the class. The scrunchies, the dirt or or stuff like that. Okay, so you guys don't get to use this stuff. It's mm -hmm. okay. And then what was that um, about the pizza party? That we don't get the pizza party because only the, the kids that have only our class that voted um, Kamal get to um, eat the pizza party. But some of the kids didn't vote for Kamal, they voted for Trump. So then what's going to happen to them? They're not going to be included. So they, they excluding the children that voted for Trump. Now, if you think that's right, if this is something that you would want your kids to be involved with, this right here is shaming tactics and, and bullying all in one. And, 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 it's, and it's what it's doing is putting a political chip in your children's mind. They're making baby Democrats. They're turning their minds from what you're teaching them to what they want to teach them. They're controlling the children from a very, very, very young age. Black people, white people, Mexican people understand the Democratic Party is not for your people. They're for evil. Understand this. This is evil. You don't do this to children. This is this is pure. Only evil. the kids that would have for come out. Hello. So I had a couple questions for you. So I heard that Giselle was told me that you had mentioned that the kids that are not gonna attend the pizza party are the kids who voted other than Camilla. Wait, say it again? That you had told the, the class that whoever votes for Kamala. No, no, she heard her. She heard her. She just wanted to make sure that she was clear on what she was saying. Now, this lady right here is very condescending. I want you to listen to what she She knows exactly what's going on. She knows exactly what's saying, but watch how she tried to cap it off. Get a pizza party, but those that don't will not be included in the pizza party. For Harris? Um, yeah. Uh, what period is your daughter in? I am not sure. Uh, so, I believe only one period, period five, uh, had a majority for Harris. Mm -hmm. And I and I said, and to follow that same spirit, because the, the Democrats are more for feeding the hungry, free medical care, uh, free more services, just pay higher taxes. That. So the Democrats are feeding people and more medical care, but just pay her high taxes. Why are you telling fifth graders about this? Why are you telling fifth graders about this? This is crazy. So listen to her logic. I'll be, be willing to buy pizza for the class. Okay. What did, what did so she say? You are willing to buy pizza for the class for those who um, win with Harris, right? 
for those that voted for Harris? Yeah. You know what she mean. Those who went for Harris. She know exactly those who voted for her, went for her. Come on, lady, stop playing games. She got me hot right now. It's, is she in period five? If she's not in period five, she does, they don't, we're just doing a regular day. Oh, okay. So she's in period five. It's the entire class. Just so what period are you with this teacher? Five. Five. So she is in period five. Oh, yeah. So... so I'm gonna try for tomorrow for for pizza, if not Friday. So the other classes, because they did not vote for um, Harris, they're not gonna get pizza. Yeah. Well, they can. They just do what the conservatives do, which pay for yourself. Oh. Did you hear that smart ass answer? They can do what conservatives do and pay for themselves. This is how you do fifth graders. This is how you do young kids. This is how you do young kids. Wow. That's fine. Um, can I take some pizza for those other classes? Um, for those other classes? Uh, what do you mean? You're the ones that voted for you. What do you mean? Exactly. The, the Trump people. She know what she knows. I can't stand liberals. I cannot stand them. Um. Uh... I, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. What's the hesitation about? The other, you giving pizza to the other kids that wrote, that rock with you. Well, what's the problem about, why is the hesitation about giving the pizza to conservative kids pizza? Why is it, ah, uh, why, why is that? I don't, I don't get it. I am a little bit upset. I am, a, I'm, a, I'm extremely upset because if this was the other way around and I were to go to people's houses and I'm like, hey, do you want a bag of food? Who did you vote for? You know, like, this is not Cuba. Like, like that's not okay to do, you know. Like, all think- that lady knows exactly what, what I'm talking about here. L- listen, man, you got the gist of the video. I just do not like this. I don't know if you guys are aware that they're doing this in the classrooms. If they, if you are aware of it and you're good for it, hey, more, more power to you. But if not, you need to make sure that you get into your child's ear. Make sure that you understand what they're doing. Ask your children, what are they talking about politically in the classrooms? Until then, I am your host, Brother Love. Get on down there. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Peace.